Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Business Pointers, your gateway through the entrepreneurship journey. Bill Nelson is my name and I will be your guide through the fascinating world of Business Pointers. I will be bringing you expert analysis and thought-provoking discussions with the brightest solutions in the business world. Today our focus will be on business diversification and how to know when your business is due. Business diversification is a strategy where a company expands into new products, services or markets that are different from its current operations. This approach aims to reduce reliance on a single revenue source, spread risk and tap in to new growth opportunities. Diversification can be categorized into three main types. 1. Horizontal diversification. 2. Diversification, vertical diversification, and three, conglomerate diversification. Horizontal diversification involves introducing new products or services that are similar to the current offerings and targeting existing or new customers. For example, a smartphone manufacturer expanding into tablet production. Now, number two, vertical diversification. Now, on the other hand, it happens when a business expands into different stages of the supply chain, either by producing components for its product, also known as backward integration, or by moving into distribution and retail, also known as forward integration. For instance, a car manufacturer starting to produce its own parts or opening its own dealership. Now, the third one is conglomerate diversification. This has to do with a business venturing into completely unrelated business areas, often to spread risks and capitalize on new markets. A classic example is a technology company acquiring a food processing business. Business diversification helps companies enhance stability, drive growth, and achieve long-term success by not depending solely on one aspect of their business. However, deciding when to diversify can be a big challenge for any business. So here are five tips to help businesses determine when diversification is the right move. Number one, diversify when your business is stable. Before considering diversification, ensure your core business is stable and performing well. Diversification requires significant resources, so a strong foundation is crucial. Now, you should look at your financial health, your market position, and operational efficiency. If your core business is struggling, it might be better to focus on strengthening than diversifying. Number two, diversify when research outcome says yes. Business decisions are not to be made with emotions, rather it should be data-driven. Therefore, through or thorough market research is essential to understand the potential opportunities and risks of diversification. Analyze market trends, customer needs, and competitive landscapes in the new sector. Look for gaps that your business can fill with its existing strengths Research can also help reveal if the new market is saturated or growing, helping you make an informed decision. Number three, you can diversify when your brand is outstanding. Now, as, as an outstanding and reputable brand, old and new customers would have no doubt in your business space since they already trust your brand. So before diversification, you must evaluate whether you can leverage your existing strengths such as technology, brand reputation, or customer base in the new market. Diversification is more likely to succeed if it aligns with your company's core competencies. Number four, diversify when you are financially ready. Diversification requires investment in terms of capital, time, and human resources. Conduct a thorough financial analysis to determine if your business can afford these investments without jeopardizing its current operations. 
consider the availability of skilled personnel and infrastructure needed for the new venture. Ensure you have a buffer to manage unforeseen challenges. Number five, pilot and test the waters. Rather than just diving headfirst into diversification, start with a pilot project or a small scale entry into the new market. Now, this approach allows you to test your strategy, understand the market dynamics, and gather valuable feedback without committing extensive resources. If the pilot is successful, you can scale up your efforts with great confidence. By carefully evaluating these factors, businesses can make a more informed decision about whether diversification is the right strategy for growth and sustainability. Many thanks for watching. Bill Nelson is my name. This is Business Pointers on Conga TV.